verse, the 13th chapter, 11th verse. Praise God for the Holy Spirit being in the place with us on tonight. Amen. God been with us all this week. Amen. And I thank God for his presence on tonight. Give honor to all the pastors and, 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 and evangelists in the house. I don't know everybody by name, but thank God for you all here. Thank God for the pulpit, pulpit associates. Amen. God bless. Amen. God is good. Amen. Amen. See, one thing I love about God, you know his people because you ain't got to give instructions. They just follow. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Y'all caught on to that. Amen. Come on, come on. God is good. Amen. Amen. 1 Corinthians 13, chapter 1, uh, the 11th verse, excuse me. And we're going to, y'all know me, I, 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 I do everything by proof, by the word of God. Amen. 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 1 Corinthians 13, chapter 11, verse says, When I was a child, I spoke as a what? Child. I understood as a child. I thought as a what? Child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Hallelujah. It takes a process. Y'all can be seated. It takes a process in life to grow. Thank God for the evangelists. Amen. Uh, sometimes we experience things by uh, uh, people. Uh, the best teacher is by experience. Amen. Living a life, amen. People can talk all day long telling you to do, do, to do this, uh, uh, don't do that, or, or you can do this or do that. But if they have not experienced it, they can't really tell you how to feel while you're going through. So we have a lot of people that are behind the pulpit telling false testimony. Because I can't preach to you about something I ain't been through, amen. But I can ask somebody. How it is, but that, I never know how it feels because I've never been through it. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Now we got to be honest with ourselves uh -huh. because playing church is over. Yes. Our sermon tonight is, is on uh, uh, gameplay is over. Gameplay is over. Look at somebody say gameplay. Game it is over. over. And then the subtext, if y'all need, you know, y'all scholars need all that stuff. So the subtext is checkmate devil. Checkmate devil. I won. I won. All right, man. Some of y'all ain't catching on today. Yeah. Said so checkmate devil. I won. I won. That means that the game over. Game over. You can't beat me because I'm the champion. I won. So now since I know the strategies and I won, that means I ain't gonna play no more. That's why God said Come on, gameplay, gameplay is over. Because when you start the game, uh -huh. you know how some of you get to churn, like to play Nintendo and all uh -huh. the different games. Uh -huh. After they beat it that one whole time, uh -huh. they ain't going back no more. Back. They want a whole new game. That's right. Uh -huh. Because they don't want this one time. Uh -huh. How many of y'all play the game Angry Birds? Uh -huh. Y'all know y'all play Angry Birds. <laughs> Y'all know if you can't beat that one high school, can't beat that level, you're going to go back again and go back again. I got Angry Birds on my iPhone. Let me tell y'all. I played Angry Birds. I won each level. It wasn't the high score on each level. But when I got through all of them, I ain't played no more. Because I said, Lord, I know I ain't going to get higher than what I got. Because for one thing, sometimes you can go back and deal with something and then somebody else can go and play and beat your score. So what happens is, Go back and play with the devil if you want to. Uh -huh. He might beat your skull this time. So that means that the gameplay is over in the house of God. Amen. Amen. Now how can we say we love God and, 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 and we love uh, uh, his children and, and his, his other leaders if we ourselves lie to ourselves and, 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 and put ourselves as if we created life. We did not create life. God created life himself. Amen. Amen. And when he created life, he did not make it well. Sister so-and-so is better than brother so-and-so. Or sister so-and-so is better than this sister. Or this pastor is better than this pastor. But he created all of us what? Equal. But he gives us assignments to do. And then the word says if you don't do it, he got somebody else to do it. 
So if you don't want to obey, uh -huh. that means that somebody else will obey. Because somebody wants to get on the other side. Oh, yeah. So that means if they want to get on the other side, that means that they ain't even playing the game. Come on. I was studying today and I was reading uh, uh, in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And it was they was telling dif different stories about Jesus and he was saying about how if he did not go to this certain person or did not go to this certain city, that means that they was not sinning. Amen. Amen. He only went to the ones that was sinning because they the ones needed help. Why would I go to somebody that already got it all together? All right. That's what's wrong with the churches now. Uh -huh. They got too many people in the church that got it too much together. Uh -huh. And then when they talk to them and try to preach to them, that's why they get more devils in them because that perfection, that mindset, I'm better than you are. Uh -huh. But that does not mean that God is not in the midst. Uh -huh. that's right. Now, I was reading and it was saying that, that when Jesus told them that I did not have to go and talk to these people because their city was already cleansed. They already good people. But it's you the one that got the problem. Yeah. Come on now. He only comes to us if we the one got the issue. Yeah. Right. High five somebody say, I do got an issue. I do got an issue. But I am a winner. But I'm a winner. Monday we talked about I want to live. Amen. And I'm a survivor with an issue. Yeah. And then on Wednesday we was talking about how we want to be right. Yeah. We got to be right. Yeah. And we got to submit ourselves to the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 James the fourth chapter 7 verse says, Submit yourself therefore to God. Uh -huh. Now mind you now, the game play is over. Then it says, Resist the devil. Uh -huh. Resist the devil and he will what? Flee, Flee from you. Somebody catch on to that. Amen. Amen. Says, submit yourself therefore to God. They didn't say to uh, uh, the altar. They did not say to uh, 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 worshiping the, the leaders of the church. They did not say to uh, uh, the, your boss man. They said to who? God. God. It says, submit yourself therefore to God. Now I'm going to ask you this question. How many people in here actually had an encounter with the devil? And when you resisted him, he did do what? He did flee. Amen. We heard testimony of the, uh, the sicknesses and stuff like that. And they would testify and say, Hi, I thank God for the therapy. Amen. Amen. See, your illness is a demon. Amen. God does not want us to be sick. That's right. The only reason why he calls sickness to come and fall, the spirit of sickness to come, is because we disobey his law. Amen. But then, hallelujah, think about Job. We talked about that on Wednesday night. Think about Job. Yes. Think about his sickness. Yes. Think about all he lost. Think about how he told the devil, Amen. checkmate devil, I won. Right. Yes. Told his friends, checkmate devils, I won. Uh -huh. See, because your friends could be devils too. Amen. The word also says that when a, a, a person has uh, too many issues, that they don't want to be solved by God. They they can pull you. Amen. And they can drag you. Amen. And it says that if you don't call on Jesus yourself, Amen. call on God yourself. I've been saying all this week, everybody needs to see got their own soul salvation. Amen. And I said earlier this week, and I'm going to say it again. You ain't dragging me to hell. Amen. The only way you get to hell is unless you allow yourself to go. Don't put it on nobody else. Mama did me this way. Daddy did me that way. That, that was a part of your life. Amen. That was a part of your experience. So then when you get to know God, you can testify. Amen. And tell testimony Amen. on how good God has been Amen. through all your what? Tests and trials. Amen. Because he brought all of us over. I know about everybody here that been over something. Amen. They came through a physical storm, but they saw it as a spiritual storm. Amen. Because they know how the devil and the enemy gets busy. We all have to have an encounter with the enemy. And with this encounter with the enemy, we got to be able to stand up to the enemy and say, Devil, I won. And I'm going to keep winning because I'm not a loser. 
Yes. The word says that we are more than a conqueror. Yes. How many of y'all more than conquerors on tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. Tell them I'm more than a conqueror. Amen. Tell them I know, I know that God is on my side. Amen. Amen. If y'all want to get some more uh, scripture reference, amen. All right. Go to Psalms 119. Amen. Look at God working on tonight because I know that somebody is blessed Amen. on tonight because the word says, Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the what? Whole heart. And Psalms 118, the 6th verse says, The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Man can't do nothing to you once God put his hands on you. That's why you can say, I'm a winner. I'm a survivor. Now, I'm a survivor with an issue because I'm human. But I'm a survivor because I trusted in God. He allowed me to testify because I done been through some things. Come on. And I could tell somebody else how to get out of it. Amen. Yes. Well. Now everybody that try to tell you something right ain't right for you. Sure Look at somebody and say everybody ain't right. Everybody ain't right. There's some people right now that's talking. Come on. Against the ministries. Come on. I hear the spirits talking now. They ain't right. Because right. if you trying to tell somebody how to get to heaven, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to tell somebody how to get to heaven, Come on now. Now I ain't telling them how to get to heaven. Uh -huh. I'm telling them how to get to heaven. Uh -huh. And you tell them how to get to heaven. Uh -huh. Somebody got to be right. Somebody got to be wrong. Right. But God does have people that are all on one accord. Yeah. Right. Everybody can't be in the same building. Yeah. Right. Everybody can't worship the same way. But that does not mean that you're wrong and I'm right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. This is part of the game that people are playing. Yeah. Yeah. This is how the division is coming in the house of God. Amen. Because the game that they are playing is, I'm better than you. Mm -hmm. My mansion bigger than yours. Yeah, your mansion might be bigger because you actually lived a little longer. Yeah. Come on now. Come on, on the spiritual realm. You might have lived a little longer and been sitting up more timber than I have. But does that mean that my mansion is not enough for me to Amen. live in? Now look at somebody and say, I know, I know that I'm a survivor. That I am a survivor. And I told the devil, I told the devil he got to go. Yes. And when he leaves, he leaves, he's never coming back. You got to say in your spirit that I want to live. Yeah. I, want to live. I, want to live. I want to survive. I want to and I want to make it. And I want to make it. See, all of us got bills that we got to pay. Yeah. You can be a millionaire and still got bills. Right. And you really ain't no millionaire if you ain't got the cash in your pocket. If I got a dollar in my pocket and all you got is a Visa card, I'm richer than you are. Oh, amen. You just swipe that card and the bank hit that button saying, hold. Mm -hmm. You'll be calling poor mouth. Amen? amen? So don't think that what you're going through, this is all part of the game. This is how the devil set it up. He makes you think that you are nobody. Amen. He makes you think and believe that you have nothing. Amen. He makes you think that your illness is going to kill you. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> he makes you think.